Welcome back, everybody. Cream puffs are a staple of the Wisconsin State Fair. Joining me now is the man behind them this year, Tim McGill. He's the co-director of the original Cream Puff Pavilion. We were chatting just a minute ago. We had cameras inside there a few years ago. We saw the signs uh, that said, please don't lick your fingers, or and probably it was more forceful than please. Uh, those signs those signs are gone now. You expect better people now? They've, they're trained a little bit better? Yeah, I got a little more like faith in the, the young people coming up in America these days, right? But you know, we don't have the signs there, but it, it is tempting, I will yeah. say. What is it like inside that room when it's hot and scorching on the pavement? Because there's blacktop right outside that building where people line up for these. I have to imagine it's cool and comfortable inside the Cream Puff Pavilion. Yeah, you know, it depends on the area, right? You got the ovens where we're baking them. It's hot, got hot racks going through. But, you know, in that cream room, we're running 35, 36 degrees, and they're working in there. So it, it, you kind of go from the, the hot to the cold. It's, it's a fun environment, but it's, it can be a little extreme. Okay, for people who show up the State Fair expecting to get the peppermints or the, uh, the mocha or the chocolate, you know, the flavors you do year-round, you don't have that. This is it. This is the one. I'm going to pick one up, pick one of these up. This is all we can get here, the original cream puff. What is it? Tell everybody what's in there. That's right. For these 11 days, we have the original cream puff. So we have our nice pastry shell with our Wisconsin sweet cream in the middle, powdered sugar on top. It just goes together so well, and it's it's a favorite treat out here in the state. Okay, it is a messy thing. What is your trick for eating this? I'm definitely all about the, the twist and scoop. Kind of eat it, scoop it as you go, and uh, I don't like to make a huge mess out of it, but, you know, to each their own. I'm, I think we have a similar plan. I call mine the taco. You kind of just take the top and you fill it and you bend it in half. Then you take the bottom and you bend it in half and you're still going to get plenty on you. But I think it's the neatest way to go. There you go. Carol, do you have a favorite way to eat your cream puff? <laughs> I wanted to see you take a nice big bite. <laughs> but I guess I'm not going to see that. Oh, there you go. Good job. And Oh, oh you didn't do it. Oh, man, I thought you'd do it. Because I know how neat you are. You don't want to get your outfit messed up. <laughs> I, I am not. I am not going to give the internet that satisfaction, Carol. <laughs> but it, it's a thought. It's fun to think about, and I know we all love cream puffs. I eat them in the privacy of my own home, though, personally. So yes, thank you. Steve. Yes, we do.